Only 60% of waste in any typical Indian city is actually collected and the other 40% ends up in places like this. That's correct. So this is where that other 40% generally goes. If it's not collected by a waste picker that comes door to door, definitely not by the large infrastructure players, which generally only collect from the mini dump sites, those secondary transfer points that we saw earlier. We're right now in Kalindikunj, which is a fantastically clean society. And you don't really realize it until you get here because in India you just see so much scrap, so much garbage along the roadside. You completely get acclimatized to what you're seeing and it's only when you reach a colony like this that is so clean that you realize what a difference good solid waste management can really make. So Prague, this is the uh, composting shed that's here on site that they've dedicated and given to the waste pickers to actually run this? Yeah, so um, as mentioned before, they were able to work with the community, uh, work with the sweeper both in educating them to be able to separate the waste and then the waste picker brings it over here. The community has given them this land and IGS has actually built this shed out themselves but as to prove out the model increasingly then the communities themselves will take on the construction of this that costs anywhere between 25 to 40,000 rupees. So what we have going on here is this is where they do some basic plastic processing. Right here, this is what's colloquially known as a car cut machine. What happens is you see these bundles of plastic over here. They take that plastic, they put it into this machine, and it rolls it around, shaking off all the dust. They're then able to take that cleaned plastic and then separate it into different colors and push it through a machine that we'll look at in a second that basically melts it down into plastic briquettes. The happening behind me is you have one waste picker sorting through, getting similar colors and putting them through a machine that first melts it and then dramatically pulls it through water, which is then collected and then put over here to dry completely. So you can see the various briquettes that are made. What happens then is these briquettes are sold to a larger uh, plastic molder who then turns them into such things as um, PVC piping. It's not PVC, but it's similarly used for agricultural drainage, agricultural irrigation uh, systems.